Adam Kid, and if you did, who was your favorite comic to superhero? Is that Marion? Yes, sir. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> I started reading comic books the day I signed my contract with Small. The better you never read this here. Me, I gotta go Superman, right? Uh, well, who would you go with? Flash. Flash. Oh, he's Spider-Man. Who would you go with? Flash. Flash. Of course, it's the Flash. That was the answer I was thinking. No <laughs> Question, good name, one last time. <laughs> you should hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy day. <laughs> I love it. She says it the same exact way every time. Give me a Sunday, Monday. Sunday, Monday. Happy days. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. You're wonderful. You're a young lady. Well, shout out to my friends, Dave Booger. Booker and Bob Ziegler in the back. Went to college with Bob. Bob, how are you? You there? Are they even here? <laughs> Son of a gun, Did they come? They're over there. There they are. Bob was in my first play, Trailer to a Kiss. He was the makeup artist. Bob, stand up just for a second. Get Bob's over there. There he is. He did makeup, and my character, I was playing an old man, and he had to tattoo a saxophone to my naked butt. <laughs> so every day I go, how's the butt look about? Just be still. <laughs> Seriously, how are my cheeks doing, Bob? Seriously, Rosenbaum. <laughs> One, anyway. Yeah. And Bob and I, we were all kind of, you know, dorks and booger. I introduced you guys, and now you're sitting together as buddies, right? Because we were all horror fanatics, and we used to go to these things before I started doing any of this. So, kudos guys. Good seeing you. Dave, stand up too. Dave, Dave, my friend Dave, Dave, stand up. There's Dave Booker. <laughs> Dave was responsible. Do you mind if uh, tapes you, you, you uh, dubbed for me, all those horror movies? Remember you had the laser discs and whatever, and you put the, all the VCRs together and you tape the Evil Dead too, and Cannibal, Cannibal Holocaust, and Make Them Die, and all those scary movies, but we won't get into that. Anyway, good see you guys. That was just for us. That was our moment. Who's next? What's up, fellas? Um, I have a question for Chris. I have a question for Chris, actually. Um, a little bit about your um, creative background and also when you write, do you write specifically this is a vehicle for Michael or do you think this is a great idea? And that goes collaboratively as well. Uh, okay, a little bit about my background. Uh, I grew up, my dad was in the army, so I was an army brat. So I moved every three years all across the country. You know, D.C., Colorado, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, New York, South Carolina, and then Korea, Japan, and Germany. Uh, Michael and Ziegler, and Bukert, uh, they all went to college with my brother in Western Kentucky. Dave didn't, sorry Dave, he didn't go to college. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so and then, you know, uh, Mike and I started writing together and pretty much everything I put down on paper, I never really put a face with me. But when we write together, you know, he <laughs> likes to act out every single scene. <laughs> we'll be writing a scene that has five words, and it would take us like two hours to write it because he wants to get it perfect, down to the perfect line. He'll act it out for you. So it always, you know, comes to fruition with him in mind by the end of it. Like he, he takes on his own character. So he's good at that. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> it's true, though. I said they were gay. You do that to mouth, they were gay. Okay, the old guy in the desk goes, phew. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Lex Loser. <laughs> yeah, you're a pretty good loser on TV. Lex Loser, and you also play a really good voice of Flash, and you're really good at comedy. So, if you were given the opportunity to be a super villain or a superhero, and the superhero, the superhero was like really uh, 
comedic like movie, the Iron Man or the Flash, would you play that superhero or would you still Comedy. I'd have fun. Maybe like a greatest American hero. <laughs> Basically, going to ask a similar question about your comic writing, and uh, well, she kind of answered the last question. But what were some maybe lines or moments that may be hard for you to do, just because they're so funny? On Smallville, or yeah, on small. Oh, you mean funny lines? That was a lot. <laughs> I kind of just made like Neil before Zod, and kind of turned that into funny. Oh, he Neil, good. Uh, you know. We were always laughing, always turning something around. Um, on Smallville, they didn't write a lot of comedy for me, so it was more like the, the movies I would do. You know, I, I changed things around. So, see, I mean, like in story movies, when I was in drag all the time, it was a joke every day. Like we'd fill our pants with socks, you know, giant packages as women. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, the director, was bomb, take the socks, your pants. <laughs> Who's next? Thank you, Clark Kent. <laughs> Yeah, you write the reviews for Smallville, yeah. right? Yeah. You son of a <laughs> <laughs> you never, I, I talked to her, you came up to me earlier. Yeah, I felt like an idiot after I told you that. I, I, I didn't know, she was like, do you actually read the reviews? I don't know why I made you sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, I go, well, you know, I've read a few. Yeah, she goes, I go, but they, they haven't been open good for me. You haven't read, she goes, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I wrote a bad one for you. <laughs> you did? Well, what did it say? Go ahead, spit it out, writer. Oh, no, I my opinion on Odin. Um, I actually thought you were phoning it in the first part of last. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Seven years, 160 episodes. You gotta phone shit in. <laughs> Will they let you put it in, or is it like, you know, when you're over? Craig doesn't really edit. Oh, that's good. Then you should say... And what? that's why there are so many typos, because he doesn't actually look oh, at it. Oh, that's good. Good. that's good. That's good. So you can say what you want. Yeah. You can say it's really not worth watching the show. Is that... I mean, if that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Yes, I said that we're working with the Coach Bros cast for Big Family, so I'll miss them the most. Is there anything particular that we missed out? Any specific? Uh, just coming in the morning, kind of doing my little stand-up routine in front of the crew, just making fun of people and then making fun of myself. All of us laughing real hard. And then 15 hours later, me yelling at the director, telling him you don't know what you're doing. Everybody laughing because I'm joking about it. But I'm kind of like, seriously, we're all really tired. And, you know, this. and uh, stuff like that, I guess I'll miss. <laughs> hey, thank you. I, I'll miss you. I will. I mean, I do. Of course I miss you. Big part of my life. What, what time is it? I feel like I've been up here for four days. 3.20. Booker, you got questions? Ziegler, any questions? 